guys, this is Sadali Lena. Welcome to my fifth video vlog. Um, today we're doing it in my sunroom, which is lovely, and I never ever get a chance to use it. So I figured you would appreciate a change of scenery. Anyway, um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about incorporating some of the things that we've talked about with our children. Specifically, I wanted to talk about visualization because kids are so natural. I mean, they're daydreamers. It comes to them so naturally that it's really easy to get them to buy in and use it to their benefit. Um, one, one of the greatest and easiest ways to do this is when they're sick or when they might have a game coming up or maybe a big test coming up. And I'll give you a little example of uh, how I used it with Max one time. It was a few years ago, and it was the first time that he had broken his arm. And we went to the doctor, and the doctor had x-rayed it, and unfortunately, where it was um, on his arm next to his elbow was extremely close, within millimeter away from the growth plate. And the doctor was pretty um, uh, interested in doing surgery on it, but it just was something that I really wanted to avoid. So I made a bargain with the doctor and I said, let's do this. Let's go ahead and um, let's see what happens in a week. Let's take retake the x-ray and if, it's, if it hasn't, doesn't look like it's getting better, then we'll go ahead and do that. And he was okay with that. So we went home and um, I told Max that every single day uh, before he went to bed, he needed to visualize his bones healing. And we went over it and exactly what to think about and um, um, how, to, how to incorporate visualization that you're, you're telling the body to you know, heal a specific area and to, to focus on that area. Well, long story short, and I know he did it because he's just one of my kids. God love him. He does what I say. And he did it every single day, multiple times, more than likely. And when we went to the doctor a week later, um, the doctor was not all that hopeful. He went and uh, took another x-ray and the x-ray took, uh, came back and he comes into the room and he said, you know, I am shocked to tell you this, but not only has the elbow healed, but it's actually healed way better than I ever anticipated. So we can, uh, we don't have to do surgery. And I was like, hallelujah. I, I loved that Max's hard work paid off, and whether you believe it or not, I, I don't know how you could discount um, the idea that him, day after day, paying attention to a certain area, couldn't have provided great benefits. So anyway, I just wanted to give you that little example so that you can take that home with your kids, whether it's you know, they're sick. We do that a lot in our family, visualizing their body healing themselves, or there's a big test that's really, you know, they're nervous about that they visualize that they go in there confident and happy and that all of the answers just flow to them really easily. So I hope that's a good tip for you and that you can incorporate that with your kids because it really works. They really come to it easily. They don't laugh at it because it is so natural to them to imagine, and why not imagine something positive that's gonna help them out. Anyway, have a great day, and I will talk to you later.